Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will discuss that how to deploy the angular application in github pages. So let's first understand what is the github pages and uh, why it is used. So github pages is a static site hosting service that takes html, css and javascript file straight from the repository on github and it optionally runs the files through a build process and publishes a website. So this service is a convenient for developers because it works perfectly with their existing GitHub workflow and offers free hosting for personal and project websites. So GitHub is, is a free tool from GitHub that allows developers to convert their code into websites. So apart from the Angular app, if your application have uh, like the HTML files, JavaScript and CSS, then so you can deploy that applications into the GitHub page. So to start the application and uh, deploy the github page so some of the prerequisites are there so the first is the basic understanding of angular that we need to have create a project and uh, we need to have a github account and uh, we need to have the nodes and npm uh, package so to push the code into the github so let's create a uh, angular application from angular cli and uh, then we'll push that code into the github and in the github page uh, we'll deploy that so let's see that uh, how it uh, in the step by step uh, it will work so in this demo we are going to uh, create an angular 17 applications and uh, that we need to have uh, deployed into the github page so in this location so i want to create an uh, angular project and uh, that i want to push into the github so though i am using the angular cli so let's uh, put a command like npm install hyphen g g is for the global other it angular slash cli So it enable the angular cli globally once it installed then we'll create an angular project so the next let's create an angular project ng new let's ng sample is my angular project and let's hit enter so let it be css and hit enter i don't want to run the rendering so let's put as n then click here so it will install the angular project you can see that the ng sample is uh, has been created on this location so now the project has been created so let's uh, move to the project folder cd ng sample and let's open this project into the vs code so let's uh, run this project and see that everything is fine in the local so let's come to the terminal window and here we type ng serve hyphen hyphen o so now we can see that in the local so the application is running successfully so let's move to the github repository and uh, create a new repository click on new and we can set the repository name let's for here ng sample deploy the description is optional and make sure the repository should be public and uh, create a repository So the repository has been created and you can see that the name is ng sample deploy and here some command that we can do the commit uh, the code into the github. So open the command window and here you can see that the git init is there but we can see that the git is already initialized so that command uh, we don't require to run it then we run that the only the git commit. So let's put that git commit then you need to put this command to connect to the remote branch this is done then we just need to push the branch is master so we can just put it as master now you can see that it is ready pushed to the master branch so just to refresh it and you can see that all the code that is we already seen in the vs code so that has been moved to the this master branch so the first step is done and the second and the most important step is uh, deploy into the github pages so let's see that how we can do that so to deploy in the github pages uh, we must first install the angular cli gh pages utility so that is a package so first we need to have installed it 
we can do it uh, by using the angular cli or in vs code itself we can also do so let's move here and uh, we can open a new terminal window here and here let's uh, type as npm install hyphen g for global then angular hyphen cli hyphen gh pages hit enter so the angular cli gh pages has been installed so the next step is uh, so building the applications for production mode so that means uh, this application is ready for uh, deploy into the github page so the command is ng build hyphen hyphen output hyphen path equal to dist space hyphen hyphen base hyphen href equal to then inside a slash we need to have type our repository name so in the repository name we have make as ng sample deploy so just copy it and go to your vs code command and just paste here so you can see that uh, we have mentioned the folder name as dist and here in the left panel so the dist folder is not there so once we hit this command then we can see that one production mode deploy has been complete and uh, the folder has been created so let's check it so it's started building so you can now see the dist folder has been created and uh, all the packets uh, regarding the build so it has been also created so this build we need to have pushed into the github page and uh, for the deploying our angular applications so to deploy the angular application into github page we have the command like ngh then hyphen hyphen directory dir equal to dist so let's understand this command so this command is push the content of the dist folder to a gh pages branch in your github repository so currently we don't have any branch uh, name as the gh pages so you can see that we can, we have only one branch so that named as master we don't have the other branch so once we run this command so it will create a another branch name as gh pages and all the content of the dist so that will be move into that gh pages branch so let's hit enter and we'll see that how it work so you can see that now the gh pages uh, branch has been created and uh, only those files are in the dist folder so that is coming to here so let's go to the settings again and go to the pages so this is very important like the branch is uh, default selected gh pages because of our build and applications is under the gh pages branch and and the folder should be root here and here it is mentioned like your site is live at this url and this is like my name whatever the username of the github account so that should become and this github.io and the repository name so let's open it and i will see that whether our applications is able to access on the this github page or not So you can see that uh, we got the 404 page not found issue but we can see that our all the code that are in the dist folder so that is came into the gh pages but why we got the issue so the root cause of the 404 issue is that all the related files are under the browser folder so here you can see that the index.html inside the browser folder but here in the uh, parent folder so there is no index.html and uh, so that it got the 404 issues so to resolve this issue let's move to the vs code again and uh, so what do we want here like uh, whatever in the browser folder 
like the index.html and other files so that will go into the gs pages only not the other files so that it will directly uh, link to the index.html and uh, the page should work so to do this so instead of uh, like only folder dist so we just make as a slash and uh, make as browser and hit enter so it again deploy this package into the gh pages so it's done let's refresh it so whatever in the browser folder that is came into here so let's go again here and just refresh it and now we can see that our applications is uh, deployed and successfully accessed on the github.io and uh, this repository link or github page so if you can open in the incognito into or in any other network also it can accessible so there is no issue at all so in this way we can uh, deploy our applications into the github uh, page by following these sample steps so if you want to change your applications and deploy it again so let's understand how we can do that so suppose uh, for our case like in the src folder go to the your app and app.component.html so let's whatever in the current design so let's remove all these things and so let's make a div here and in the paragraph i will write and if you go to your local application and now you can see that the only the paragraph that uh, i have changed in the page so that is come here and in the github page we have the still the old design because of we haven't pushed our new change so let's see that how we can push our new change so simple the step that we have followed earlier the same step we need to follow like first we need to have production mode release so for the release we just need to run this command ng build output path dist base href is equal to ng sample deploy so this is our repository name not the project name so this is our the repository name so let's hit enter so it's done let's so let's deploy into the gs pages once our new changes so we just need to have uh, put the browser folder not the dist so let's hit enter again so it's done let's move to our repository and just refresh it so you can see that the index.html and other two files are just updated so if we go to here our ng sample deploy or github page so just refresh it now you can see that our whatever we changes the application so that is available in the github page deployment so like this if you want to change whatever you know applications though and in the same way you can deploy that so it will be available into the github page quickly so i think now you are very much have clear that how we can deploy the angular 17 or onwards applications into the github page by following these steps also you can see that my article that uh, here it is mentioned that uh, how we can uh, deploy the package into the github pages step by step so you can also find all the command line here and uh, you can just uh, follow this and uh, and uh, you can deploy uh, easily in, in the github page so let's understand what the limitations of the github page so github page is a terrific free service for hosting the static web pages but uh, there are some constraints uh, that we need to consider so firstly the static content size is limited to 1 gb so that means uh, you won't be able to upload the large media files like the videos or uh, like that uh, extensive data sets directly to the github pages so additionally there is a monthly bandwidth limit of uh, 100 gb and this limit is quite generous for uh, most uh, small to medium sized websites but it's something to be aware uh, of your website is experience uh, got the high traffic 
so when delivering your website to github pages so keep in mind that the deployment time limit is 10 minutes so if it takes uh, longer than that so the deployment will time out and uh, perhaps fail so github pages haven't a soft limit of 10 builds per hour to avoid any setting deployments to frequently to stay with this restriction so it is important to note that the github page is not recommended for to hosting the dynamic websites or corporate software websites uh, to limits and the lack of server side processing capability however it is designed for the developers who want to publish the open source web applications like the documentation so games landing sites blogs so github page sites is especially used for displaying projects exchanging documentation and providing access to open source software etc that's it for the video thanks for watching